vtmreview.com here with the Retro Rampage podcast. Uh, this is more or less part two talking about E3. Uh, on the last segment, we talked about uh, God of War. Um, kind of talked about how I felt Sony owned the whole show. Uh, well, as a whole, with the exception of Zelda, which was kind of the, the, the game of the event. But uh, what games out of the whole litter were you looking forward to, Zach? I got a list here. <laughs> you wrote a list? No, I just took pictures of them. Oh, okay. I saw it when they announced them. Did you ever play Prey? Well, no, I guess it was only on Xbox 360, mm-hmm. but it was like... Yeah. I don't know if it was a launch title, but it was pretty close. Uh, you were this dude, and like you were hanging out in a bar at the beginning, and uh, all of a sudden, like the television starts talking about weird things and this like lights in the sky. And then like a freaking spaceship comes and takes you up there. And like, you got to make your way out and stuff. It was pretty awesome. They did like a lot of stuff. Like the first time I ever saw stuff like, uh, you remember the portal games? Yeah. They did stuff like that where like a box will fall down and you'll walk up. And like, I remember getting stuck, like, where do I go? And like, I remember just by chance looking inside the box that falls down and it's like it goes to a different room and stuff like that. It was pretty cool. Um, But yeah, they... Well, it's funny because like last year, the year before, they were going to do a Prey 2 and it was like you were back in the spaceship and you were like a a bounty hunter. Like, so you were hanging out with fucking Charlie and Ugg and shit. That Talking was about, I, that was critters. I know. Yeah. He but, my uh, friend. Well, he was my friend. I, I, I know. Gotta, I got the reference. Folks. I gotta go where the cosmic wind blow me. But no, I <laughs> like it. Got canceled. Like I guess uh, they ran out of funding, so that game got fucking. It's not happening anymore, which sucked. But I get this year they. I don't know if it's uh, a reboot or. If it's a sequel, but it's just called Prey, and we didn't get much about what it's about, but uh, I'm looking forward to that. Bethesda made it. Oh, you mean they're calling a game by the title of an already existing yeah. game? Oh, okay. And I don't even know if it's if it's linked to that game or not. How unusual. Um, so, what about the Kojima game? You looking forward to that weirdness? They didn't even really. Yeah, that's going to be a while, though, dude. Oh, it's going to be a long time. It, We're going to be hearing that for the next three years. That was more or less like a. It was literally felt like just like a tech demo, a trailer they threw out there. I mean, it's going to be forever. It was just a, uh, a mouth water, I guess. But it didn't really tell you anything. I just think it was meant to say that hey, <laughs> Kojima is back. He's here. You remember the title of it? Death Stranding. Yeah, yeah. Death Stranding. Death Stranding. Um, it's got Norman Reedus in it. Yeah, and I think that's all it was for. It's like, hey, I want to show you that we are making something. And I'm working with Norman Reedus again. And he clearly gave birth to a baby somehow, like Junior. I think uh, he, he's like naked and all like. And he had like a C section. All the like, middle aged housewives were freaking out talking about this video game. Did you it, see that? No, I didn't. Oh, probably like in all the Walking Dead groups on Facebook yeah. and stuff. But the thing is, is. That is not his body. It's altered. He's not that, like, he's not in that shape. He's not in shape like that. He's not. Yeah. He had really broad shoulders and a really tiny waist. They altered that a bit. I'm sorry. Um, so they can freak out all they want. But but, but whatever. Uh, but the acting's there. Um, <laughs> I guess he had a baby. Like, Junior! Uh, and uh, the baby <laughs> was gone. And then there's, like, little handprints all over his body. And he's got black yeah, he's got, shit like- on his hands. <laughs> ink or something and then all of a sudden he looks at the coastline there's dead fish washed no up, fucking clue what that game's washed about. up ashore and then there's giant like robot things in the air that we really don't know what they are uh, and that's the game it's really yeah. interesting how do you feel about games have been getting um more and more and more cinematic obviously as technology's progressed but now they're having these norman reedus in death stranding they really are movies now. They're getting actors starring yeah. in them. It makes more sense than Norman Reedus in Silent Hills. Why? Because I, I just remember being like, why would the why would they put a known actor in a Silent Hills game, Silent Hill game? Because aren't you supposed to like 
everything that happens s- supposed to be it, it, part it, of this character. I think it it's a little bit different of a medium than than film because like at, when you're playing a game, you're actually putting you're playing a, ga- a game like that's almost like role playing. You know, yeah, we should. I, I I just thought it was weird. We shouldn't feel like we know who this fucking guy is. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. A game. It's like uh, when you play any kind of role playing game, any sort of like first person game, any sort of game like that. You're kind of like immersing yourself in the the role, and that's like getting uh, Al Pacino to play Link in the new Zelda. It's like uh, <laughs> it's Al Pacino for God's sakes. How am I supposed to share? This <laughs> is. He's like. It's just really weird. But, uh, I'm coming, princess! It's, uh, it, that was a horrible Pacino, by the way. You look at, you, you talking to me? That's De Niro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're the same guy. <laughs> Not at all. Uh, same one guy. of them can play a Cuban, an Italian, and a Mexican. Hey. You know, when he first said, uh, Pacino, the first thing I thought of Pacino? was, like, Chris, I thought of Christopher Walken. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I, wow! I don't have enough rupees. Zelda. Fuck me. Yeah. <laughs> no, my God. No. Uh, Pacino. But whatever. So, like, you're watching, you're playing these games, and you're right. Maybe it makes more sense for a new IP than, like I said, casting uh, someone like Pacino as, like, Link, who's been around forever, right? It's weird. And mm-hmm. uh, But I, I still think either way, uh, yeah, like you said, it was Norman Reedus. It's Norman Reedus. It's like when some films... They don't want to cast certain actors in their movies. Some, they, sometimes they don't want to cast big actors in the movies because it's a distraction. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, Simon Pegg had no desire to have a cameo or be, have any kind of bit part in the new Star Wars movie. You know, even though he's super tight with J.J. Abrams and he's the biggest Star Wars fan in the world, according to him. He says, I just think it would be a distraction. I think people would just go, oh, it's fucking Simon Pegg. He would. Like, it's just really yeah. weird. And let, you don't do that for Harrison Ford because that was the role he kind of birthed, right? That's where he came mm-hmm. from. He He's not Harrison Ford. He is Han Solo. Um, so I get it. But like I said, I don't know if that's going to be such a big issue when it's a new IP like this. I'm sure it'll be fine. I mean, you'd think they could have given him a different haircut or something. It's like he literally yeah. looks like he does in everything. It's like, why don't you, you know, treat it like a movie and give him a haircut, whatever you got to do. Uh, but that's not going to sell the, you know, that's not going to sell the copies, I guess. Uh, but th- but it's not a new thing because they were doing this way back in the day too. You know, you had a uh, Bruce Willis starring in that apocalypse game on the PlayStation. Remember that? <laughs> but uh, yeah, so this this isn't like new. It's actually happened before, which is crazy. It's really weird to think about that, but it did happen. Um, and it almost happened even earlier when they were going to put Jean Claude Van Damme in the the Bloodsport themed Mortal Kombat game. Mm-hmm. You know, so. And, and, you know, and if you want to, like, even attach it to sports games, obviously they've been putting sports play, but that's not actors. But whatever, it's it's happened quite a bit. But, um, so it's not new, but I don't know. I, I It looks intriguing. I think everybody's just confused by it. I can't say I'm excited about it because I don't know what it is. You know, literally mm-hmm. that trailer means nothing to me. I think it was just, um, I think it was just letting people know that, hey, they're alive and he's still doing this project and he is working on it and he's still working with Norma Reedus even after the whole PT thing. Is Del Toro... No, I don't think connected. Del Toro's oh. yeah, connected to it. I don't think. I, I, from what I hear, after that whole all thing went south, he said he would never work in video games again. That was kind of his. That was his one shot. He was given it or whatever. But, who but it didn't even happen. Yeah, I know. Uh, and it's absolutely <laughs> stupid. But <laughs> uh, besides that, though, I want to talk about. The other oh, was there any other games you're looking forward to though? Kind of you were talking uh, about Prey. I'll I'll just say them real quick. Uh, the new Mass Effect I'm looking forward to. Um, was that on the Xbox showcase? It's on one of them. Because I didn't watch the Xbox. That has to be. Is it is it an actual new Mass Effect, Ma- Mass Effect game or is it like another yeah. remaster remake or whatever? It's a new one. Oh, uh, the Last Guardian looks like it's actually coming out October in October, and I saw that too. I. Once again, that's one of the games that's in my pile. I have the PS3 remaster of, you know, Eco and Shadow Colossus. Never played them, even though they're supposed to be amazing. Shadow of the Colossus is awesome. Yeah, it's, it's what I hear. So I, one of these days, I wish I was a kid again. I wish I could be like 13 years old again for just one year. Then I would get all these games played because I would have. What's n- your fucking job? That makes sense. <laughs> you got a point. But I'm just saying, if I was, like, a kid again, I could get all these played, man. Because you had, like, no war. That was, like, the high- that's all you did. 
It's like, mm-hmm. oh, you had to worry about. But um, yeah, so it looked cool to me, too. It looked intriguing. The new South Park game. That one looked really good. And what's Crash in it? Bandicoot, the remasters. That's good Crash to talk Bandicoot. about, too, actually. Um, I don't know what to think about it. Um, it's exci- uh, I, I played the, the newest um, uh, Uncharted game. Yeah. And there's a part where you're playing, you and uh, your I, wife. I heard it's like a spoiler. I have, I heard this. Go ahead. Yeah, you're you're playing uh, Crash Bandicoot. It's pretty funny. There, and that's that's funny. I wonder what uh, it does. It actually show like screenshots of the game, like the footage. You actually play like the first level. Oh, really? And it's in the game, yeah. or it's like an Easter egg. It's in the game. That's interesting. So, and I wonder how that works because Activision still owns Crash Bandicoot now. And so, how mm-hmm. did so Naughty Dog? Do they have some sort of rights since they made that old game? I don't know. I don't really know how the league out. Maybe they have the rights now because they're making remasters. But of it. they're not doing it. They're not. No, they're not doing it. That's why uh, I don't. I don't know how to feel about it because no, no, Activision still owns it. Um, whoever's making the Skylanders games, whoever's behind that, I think it's Activision. Whoever, whoever's umbrellaed over that, because they put Crash in a new Skylanders game. Uh, as sort of like a, a teaser, and then they're going to remake. They keep saying remaster, but if they remake in the game, it's a remake. It looks like a remake. No, they're going to remake it. It's like they yeah. say we're going to remaster from the ground up. They have to. These are PS1 games, so why do they call it remaster? It's it's a remake. But um, it's being handled by a brand new company, so I don't know. I'm scared. To me, yeah. you take a game like Crash Bandicoot Warped, that game still looks good to me. I don't. Mm-hmm. It doesn't. It doesn't really need a polish. I love the way Crash Bandicoot 2, Crash Bandicoot 3 look. Crash Bandicoot 1 slightly dated, um, but that's just because each game that came after it, 2 and 3, they just they were just better versions of the one that came before it, mm-hmm. you know? So, basically, if you have Crash 3, you really don't have to play the other ones. Crash 2 is st- still good. Crash 1 is kind of a primitive version, but, like, they still look good. I like that nostalgic PlayStation 1 look. They're still fun. They're still colorful. Um, they control great. I'm just scared that even if they try and just really, really clone it, which hopefully I guess that's the best thing they can do, but I'm scared that even if they do that, it's going to lose some of the magic and it's going to lose some of the, there's going to be something off about it. I'm just worried. Um, but then it's also one of those things like, do we really need, I don't know. I can understand Resident Evil two kind of right. Resident Evil two, how that could benefit from like the modern day graphics, the modern day uh, technology. And, you know, you can make it more open. This is Crash Bandicoot. This is a platform we're talking about. They're not really going to add anything. They're just going to remake it with prettier graphics. And I don't see the point because I think the original looks pretty good. Um, so I don't just know. Play the original then, you fucking pussy. I'm an old man. <laughs> I'm joking. Uh, uh, yeah, just one more thing. They, Skyrim's- they, they, they better not charge it. They better not charge a lot for it. They better put that yeah, fucking. Crack. It'll probably be on. It'll probably be on a collection. A collection, like twenty bucks. Ah, uh, I'd guess more like forty. I would be awesome if it's twenty bucks. I mean, no harm, no foul if they don't charge very much for it and they put them all out. But whatever. You were saying this um, Skyrim? Yeah, I saw that too. Yeah, Skyrim's coming to the new systems. I'll probably buy that because I never bought it. When it was out. <laughs> Another one of the games I have in my pile. I've never even opened. I've had it for so long. I bought Skyrim way back in the day, and I'm afraid to play it because it's like I know the commitment it can take and i just don't have the time i i Did look, you ever play oblivion nope really no my brother my brothers are obsessed with it they literally logged thousands of hours in oblivion and thousands like of it. hours in the skyrim i liked oblivion better my brothers liked oblivion better too they actually kind of in skyrim they kind of like streamlined it so that you can play through the game one time with a certain character and never really miss anything that's what my brothers were telling me. They said Oblivion was was better, and it's funny because even when um, Skyrim was pretty new and they were they were playing that, uh, he was still playing. He was my brother would play both of them. I because I, yeah. I, I would go over and he'd be like he'd be playing Skyrim, and then later that night he'd be playing Oblivion again. Like you're literally juggling these games, like you just play them both. Like yeah, and he, he was still putting and he still played Oblivion more. Still, to this Oblivion day. was a freaking launch title too. He still plays it, man. Like cra- He literally showed me the hours that he sunk into that game, and it was in the thousands. It was ridiculous. I'm like, wow. I wouldn't show that to anybody. <laughs> it's like the uh, Final Final Fantasy. I think I think on part 10, I had 1,000 hours by the time I finished. How do you put 10 hours in a Final Fantasy game, though? I don't fucking know. I mean, you, you really... 
how many hours did you have? A thousand? It wasn't just me playing it. My cousin played it. My friends played it. Like, I mean, but the story, you've already... Are you talking about, like, a cumulative how many times you played? Or are you talking about in one campaign, one game? Oh, no, not one. Because that's what yeah, I'm talking it about. Like, it's like, wow. It's like, you, there's no way you could put 10,000 hours. And I, I like games like that where I know there's a light at the end of the tunnel. 40, 50, 60 hours. As long as there's some kind of ending point. I'm fine, but man, I don't want to get lost in a worldwide. That's why I'm so scared of the whole VR thing, man. That's it's just going to get worse. I'm going to keep falling mm-hmm. more and more behind because because I think VR, I think it's a gimmick at the end of the day. Uh, but I think that it's it would really really work well for a lot of games, right? For a lot of types of games, and mm-hmm. there's going to be games which we're going to talk about it here. Resident Evil Seven. This is actually a good segue. Uh, the Resident Evil Seven reveal. You know, that they're going to release it and you can play it in VR or not VR. But from what I know right now, I guess it's first person, first person style. You know, there's rumor that they'll give you an option to play third person old school, too. Yeah, I that's just rumor. I think it's just going to be first person, which is dog shit. But um, I think a game like that could be really, really cool in VR, right? Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, depending on how, I don't really know how the Neo is going to be. I don't know how good it's going to be. Like when you put on this like headset, is it supposed to be like, it's supposed to be surrounding you, right? Like you're supposed to be able to see out of your peripherals, right? I guess. Like you're, I in, the, like you're in the room, right? Yeah. Like you can turn, that would work so well with the game like that. And of course there's temptation to, well, I want to play the better one. If you're going to play a game like Resident Evil, well, I want to get the full experience, you know? Um, but I just don't want to sit there with this thing on my head. <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't want to be a slave to more gadgets. I don't know. Oh my god! And everybody's talking about. It. Oh my god! It's so cheap. They're gonna charge four hundred dollars for that thing, dude. I'm not getting that shit. A four hundred dollar add on. Uh, you know, you'd be smart to at least wait until other people have it. Never get new technology. Wait for other people to be the guinea pigs. You know, let them test it out, find the problems. You know, everybody else waste their money. <laughs> just nah. It just absolutely crazy. Wait, wait till like a neighbor gets it and like sneak into their house while they're playing it since they can't fucking see what they have goggles on and just, and just fucking crack them over the head and steal it. <laughs> Stupid. Like if I ever was doing something like that, I would close the blinds and I would close the shades. I just hope I'd that pro- I'd probably only use it for porn. Oh, and they at the E3, they had a they had a I had a friend that went to E3. Um, she had like a guest pass or whatever with somebody that had like a, a panel. And um, they had an exhibition for uh, virtual reality porn, this porn company. Mm-hmm. And the line was massive. She took, like, uh, videos of it. <laughs> and it was just huge, man. Um, and it will. I mean, it's just kind of sad that we're going to reach that era where, I mean, it's kind of the same thing with TV. They introduced TV back in the day. And, you know, we it's it'll probably just become normal because, you know, you go outside, you go on a jog, you walk your dog, whatever. And you walk by houses and people in their windows are sitting in front of the TV. We don't think it's weird anymore. Um, it was probably weird at one time. But it's just like the next step of that. We're going to like be on jogs and walking our dogs. And we're going to see people in their living rooms with these virtual reality gadgets on their heads and stuff. <laughs> it's just like it's more and more. Basically, they live is coming to life. Hmm. We're getting closer. They live predicted the future. Um, But I don't know. Resident Evil 7, though, that's a. Uh, it's your favorite franchise. What was your takeaway from that whole thing and that whole reveal? Because I have my opinions about it. Uh, Yeah, like I'm looking forward to it. I still haven't gotten to play it because I don't have PS Plus and I haven't watched anybody play it. I want to wait and play it for myself Dude, for the first get, time. Get, it, get, the, get a trial. They'll give you a trial. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can get a 30-day trial, I think, still. I mean, just if you've never had it before. Have you ever had it before? I don't think so. Dude, do the trial. If you to play it at least, you know. But um yeah. I don't know. I it's I, I don't want to be like one of these people where we well, were pitching because, you know, we we drifted away and you want us to go back to horror and then when we do go back to horror, you're complaining. I'm like The only thing I really have to complain about is I don't want I'd rather not be in first person, but I guess I'll fucking deal with it if I have to. No, everything's in first person. There's too yeah. much first person. And I get it. It's supposed to be creepier. Uh, they're putting shit in first person. I just feel like they're making these games like this to satisfy the PewDiePie generation. Yeah. So people like that can make their fucking Let's Play videos and jump and scream and do their PewDiePie garbage. 
Um, yeah. It because, but I mean, I, I'm not saying it doesn't look cool, but it doesn't look it doesn't look any different than these this resurgence of horror games. You know, your Evil Within's and these games that have been coming out. Um, and I'm just generalizing, like I can't think of these games. But like, and then uh, the PT demo, it's just. It's the mm-hmm. same. And I get it. The PT demo was exciting, but I kind of felt the same way about that, too. It's like, oh, first person. You know? Yeah. Well, I assumed that it was just for the demo and it wasn't... The game wasn't going to be in first person. I can't even imagine, like... Like, imagine, like, playing the first Resident Evil or Silent Hill in first person. Like, so much of that game is just running past, you know, Stuff. enemies and saving a- ammo. And if it's in first person, you, ass- I assume it would change to like shoot and kill everything you know Mm -hmm. i guess i don't know if that's true but it's what i'm assuming it seems like it'd be hard to maneuver around and run past things in first person and i'm all for rebooting it at this point but it's like they're doing that tongue-in-cheek clever reboot but at the same time they threw seven roman numeral in there Mm -hmm. you know so it's like is this a reboot or is this resident Evil seven how are we treating it so, basically, is it Resident Evil 7 or is it Resident Evil Reboot? Are we connecting it to a T-Virus? Because it, like, it doesn't look like anything. It looks like something totally different. It looks like a whole... Basically, it looks like a whole new IP that they slapped the Resident Evil name on. So, it's like, did they go too far? It's like, give us something fresh. Uh, revitalize the franchise. Kind of reboot it if you have to. But they they just... It literally seems like they just picked... An, it's like the Star Fox Adventures thing. Hmm. You know, hey, let's take this game. Let's throw fucking Star Fox on it. Um, yeah. so I don't know. I don't know. I'm not saying it's not going to be good. I just don't know how excited I am about it. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll pro- now that you mention it and I think about it, I'll probably get a freaking trial and play it. Maybe I'll like record it and upload it on my thing mm. so you can watch it or something. Just be careful when you, uh, that would be cool. That'd be a fun little playthrough. Yeah. Why don't you, you should do it and you should record it and we should, uh, do a discussion. I, I would love to do that actually. Because I want to see, yeah. I want to be sold on it a little more, you know. I just mm-hmm. hope there's a story there, you know. I just, yeah. It's like, where's the story? Um, if you're, if it's first person, are you really going to have a whole lot of character arc with who you are, um, or is it going to be sort of lack of a character because you want it to feel like it's you that's in this situation? Yeah, see, that, that's what I'm afraid of. I don't want it to be like that. I, I want to feel, yeah, I want to play a character. And I, stuff. I agree that the Resident Evil story got crazy and out of control. Yeah. It did. It got it, super convoluted and crazy. But at the end of the day, like before it got super convoluted and crazy, I liked it. The story's cool. Yeah. Um, it just got out of hand. Um, so I hope they're just, I hope there's still is a story. I'm not saying. And yeah, you, t- you touched on that too. And that's another thing is I'm, I'm fucking tired of, of that stuff that you see every time. Like, oh, it's scary. Let's record our faces and. Ah! Yeah. It's 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 the same games. It's this looks nothing like more or less than all the games PewDiePie gets all his millions of hits from. These yeah. first person horror games. Step around the corner and it's just Hey guys, it's PewDiePie. How does he talk? He's uh is he Swedish? I don't know. He ha- he has like an almost robotic way of he's talking. He's Swedish. He's from uh, I think he's stuck- I'm not talking about his accent. I'm just talking about the way he talks. I I'll never understand how he got became popular. But you want to watch a grumpy old man complain about like uh, the modern, the modern day and people like PewDiePie. Watch, uh, watch Howard Stern rant about it. It's so funny. Like he's never heard of him. What's a PewDiePie? And then he'll go, <laughs> he'll get all upset because you know these people aren't broadcasters. These people aren't artists. People like him had to like work hard to become the king of all media. And you, th- these new kids are just like starting free YouTube channels and playing other people's games that weren't created by them and reacting to him and these people are <laughs> hearing him talk yeah. about like podcasts oh yeah he's he's a grumpy old man see i i actually love howard stern i think he's a really great interviewer even though he's mellow he's mellowed out in recent years i mean ever since he got married again he's just he's not real he's not dirty anymore but he's become a really really good interviewer like he's his interviews really? are still really good um but yeah he's, he's a grumpy old man there's a lot of things i agree with him on when he talks about that stuff um, but there's also some things I don't, I don't really agree with him so much on the podcast thing. Um, that's him being an out of touch old man. I remember hearing his argument about it and thinking that was so fucking weird. Like Twilight Zone almost like, here's a guy that got famous doing the same thing and 
And I was just like, what the fuck? But it's, it's Why would you do that? But it's, uh, <laughs> why did you do that? Fucking Polly Shore. <laughs> um, <laughs> I get where he's coming from, but I don't, I think it's a, it's a skew because he's saying these people, you know, he's say, he's claiming podcasters, they, they're wannabe broadcasters. And he's thinking, if you want to be a broadcaster, get into broadcasting and do it right. Get an audience, go hit the airwaves. Um, it's a little dated. Airways are dated. Even he's on Sirius now, which is, they have podcasts yeah. on Sirius, you know? Yeah. So he, he doesn't even realize it, but he's kind of merged in with that era. That's just the era, right? Um, yeah. But he's like everybody else. I mean, musicians could be just as grumpy. Like, well, when I, in my day, now kids can make, de- you know, albums in their bedrooms now. Mm-hmm. It's just different. Go on SoundCloud. These people recording stuff in their bedroom sounds way better than most 80s metal albums and punk rock albums. They sound like dog shit, didn't they? But uh, anyway, PewDiePie, Resident Evil 7, Scary Games, ah, all that stuff. I don't know what to think about it. It looks cool, I guess. It just, I don't know why everybody was jerking it off. I think, I think it just looks like a random game they threw Resident Evil on. I think there should have been a little bit more tie into the franchise in that trailer. Just a little bit. I would have been excited if there was like some sort of like a hint at Umbrella. Yeah. Or something, right? A little bit of, uh, or like zombie dogs or just something, right? But there was nothing related to Resident Evil at all in that, which tells me it could be any other game and they slap a title on it. I don't know. But this explains why they've been so quiet about it. Mm-hmm. Who knows when Resident Evil 2 remake is going to be done? That's probably going to be a long time, but. Um, I could tell you, uh, a remake of Resident Evil 2 and this new Resident Evil game can totally coexist at the same time. Totally mm-hmm. different games they sound like they're going to be. But I think that's a good idea. I think you should uh, I think you should play the demo and record it. That would be awesome. I'd be down with that all yeah. day. Um, but yeah, so that's that, those are the big titles that I, I think needed to be brought up. I know there's more on there, but uh, did you have any other things you want to bring up? or? Um, cause we're, ASX, the new one. Oh, you're in. That's into- coming out in the... Uh, next month, I think. Mm. And I never played the 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 last one. But what the fuck? I don't play games, dude. I'm old. <laughs> I go to the doctor these days. You know, I I just scheduled my first colonoscopy. <laughs> Crying out loud! Um, I'll give you a colonoscopy. Co- colonoscopy, aka legal sodomy. I think sodomy mm-hmm. still illegal in most states. I don't know. Is it? <laughs> In some That's sta- fucking retarded. It's still illegal in some states. If not, yeah, tech. I think it's just one of those laws that people don't. Freedom! <laughs> I think it's one of those laws that's still in place, but no one takes it seriously because they don't really, like, persecute for it unless it's, like, Isn't, rape. like, a blowjob considered sodomy, too? I think it's one of these things where it's not really a law taken, cons- it's not really taken seriously or uh, persecuted for unless it's like a violent act or rape or something, right? Then they're like, hey, two counts of sodomy, rape, you know. Then they start itemizing it. But I think it's just like that whole thing. I think there's a lot of laws in in the book that just are there just because they're there and they haven't updated yeah. it. They, I don't think... Yeah, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's funny. Uh, I was watching a day... I was I was at home not that long ago. I was wa- My mom was watching a AMC and Day of the Dead was on. <laughs> the Nick Cannon one or the original? <laughs> No, the original. And, like, she's been having trouble with her knee, and she said something like, oh, man, my knee hurts. I just want to cut it off. I'm like, that would just hurt more. And then I was like, you want me to cut it off for you, and I'll sodomize the wound? I meant to say carterize the wound. Oh, you cut a fish? I was like, yeah. I was thinking, like, yeah, I'll carterize the wound like in, like in Day of the Dead. And I accidentally said sodomize the wound. <laughs> we both just started laughing. Who was this? Your mom? Yeah. And you said this directed at who? My mom. You said you would sodomize your mom's like, what? <laughs> Her leg wound. Uh, that's that's new level, man. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, I think it's just one of those things. I, like if you go up to an officer tonight. And tell him, hey, I, I, I fucked this chick in the ass. He's probably gonna be like, I did the same thing last night, dude. It's fine. Go. No one's gonna arrest you. I got a blow job, you know. <laughs> I think, I think it's anything that like you can't get pregnant from is considered sodomy. There was this um, anything that's not missionary, and anything that's yeah. not missionary sex that's only meant for procreating. Um, <laughs> uh, sex for fun is is out the window. Uh, no, it's, I think it's just like one of those rules. Like there was that, uh, gosh, I don't remember what state it was, 
Uh, and we're kind of beating a dead horse here, but really quick, there was this guy. This will probably never make it into this episode. Oh, come on, man. Because you said you were <laughs> right. sodomizing if you want. mom's <laughs> limb. Uh, but there was, the, <laughs> there was the guy that had served so many years in prison in whatever state. And obviously, when he was in prison, he had nothing to do but reading, reading. He read up on all the laws, yada, yada, yada. When he got out of prison, he had drug up an old state law that was still in existence, just not acknowledged. And it was that all released, you know, prisoners were to be given a gun and a horse from the old fucking <laughs> West, you know, because back then that was bare necessities, right? That we're going to put you back into society. You need a gun. You need a horse. And so he fought it and they gave him, they, they wouldn't give him a gun because he was a convicted felon. They didn't budge on that, but they gave him a horse. <laughs> and that's, it's the whole most hilarious thing in the world. And I'm pretty sure after that, they updated it, right? I think it's like, all right, let's take that out now. But, uh. Regardless if we keep that in the podcast or not, it's pretty funny. But uh, anyway, so let us know what you think about Resident Evil. Uh, I'm kind of on the fence about it. Let us know what you think about Zach wanting to sodomize his mom's stump. And <laughs> um, anything else. Uh, obviously, let us know what you think about um, any of the games that had uh, going on at E3. The only thing I really want to talk about from here is um, the final segment, which we'll release after this one, is the new Zelda, which uh, is the game of the show so but in the meantime follow us on btmreview.com uh itunes facebook twitter all that stuff and uh, of course check out our film commentaries that we also do with the website um but anyway i'm aaron i'm zach and you guys aren't but thank you for listening adios you can take out the part about me saying you fucking want to stop I just, you can edit, edit whatever you feel like you need to edit it's fine <laughs>